Hey everyone, it's me, Excanadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, I'm so excited because I just got three Shadow High Series 3 dolls in the mail. I bought them from the early release on the lolsurprise.com website and I'm so, so excited. Barry ended up being my favorite out of the three that I picked out just from the preliminary look I had at them. And I'm so, so excited. So introducing one of the new Shadow High characters. So her name is Barry Skies and this is what she looks like in the packaging. As you can see, she has like a technology theme. She's got all these like motherboard wires and things going on and I cannot wait to see her accessories as well. And then her focus is computer animation, which, okay, <laughs> sure. I guess it has to do with computers. And then you can see the gorgeous artwork on the back of the packaging with the two characters that I did not buy, <laughs> actually. And then it says the students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. So nothing that really hints at anything with them. Oh, it's a Shadow High here. That's very cute. And then this is the barcode. Hopefully these start showing up in stores soon. All right, let's get her out of the box. Barry is now out of the packaging and this is what she looks like. She is so beautiful and her hair is so soft. So one of her pieces of hair, the one in the front, is meant to be like a bit looser of a curl that appears longer, as you can see. And it got a bit unraveled, so let me show you how you can easily fix this. So just take all the hair, take it out of the curl, you end up with something like this, and then just finger curl it back into place, just like this. And you can do this with the included comb as well. I just want to show this because when I, I worked for the American Girl store for a little bit, and... I was always so scared when the dolls that had the hair like this would come unraveled because I thought I'd destroyed them. And as you can see, it went back. So this piece is just out of place. And it looks like that's because there is gel in this doll's hair, but only here. There, There's like a little bit of it painted on some of these curls, but overall she doesn't have styling product in her hair, which is really refreshing, actually. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to try to fix this a little bit better. I'm going to use a comb and like really try to work this through. I'll be right back. This doll is so stunning. Sorry about the little intermission. I just wanted to fix her hair a bit. So this is what she looks like right out of the packaging. Let's spin her around. And I'm very impressed with how clean and like perfect all of her curls are considering there's very little styling product and I love being able to feel rainbow high hair straight out of the rooting machine without the styling product on it I am so grateful I think that for some reason rainbow high dolls just really overdo the styling product but all you really need is in a couple of areas like they've used here to keep it nice for the packaging or if there's like an elaborate hairstyle like this was a good option to keep these separate from everything else to gel this spot so I really like that Anyway, sorry for focusing on the hair so much. We're actually supposed to be focusing on the face. So this is what her face looks like up close. I love this face sculpt and I think the makeup fits it so well. Look how pretty this doll is. So starting off, she does have very small styled edges, as you can see. They are sculpted and painted on. And then her eye makeup, look at this. So she's got this black inner corner that extends all the way to the kind of regular eyeliner wing going on. And if we move her eyelashes down a little bit, you can see that it's like a smoky eye. So it's actually quite faded looking. It's really cool. Look at this. They really made it look like she blended it outward. Like it actually fades. It's gorgeous. And I love this teal green color. It's very toothpaste almost. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I love the way they did her lips too. Check this out. So her lips are basically just her skin tone with just a little bit of pink to accentuate them. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. Look at her at that angle. I'm, anytime you do a half profile, I'm sold. Like that's all I need to see. <laughs> uh, and I really love the pink blushing as well. It's a bit hard to see sometimes, but it, it really pays off. I think it's gorgeous. And I also very much love, not only did they add the gray color from the smoky eye or the black color to the eyebrow as you can see there's also a green highlighter line underneath it so pretty and then her eyes are basically meant to be white but they've got some blue and green to them really cool she's so cool she's so cool and then what are the earrings um we've got like a rounded rectangle with little cuff on it and then the post is a I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. This is almost like neon tubing, though. I think it's really pretty. 
It's really interesting. Some of her hair got stuck there, but again, you can easily reform these cur curls, so it's not something to worry about. Just don't take a hairbrush and brush straight through them. That's that's how you're going to lose the curls. All right, now it's time to take a look at her hair. So her hair is styled mostly into a high ponytail, as you can see and there's just one piece that's down as we saw and there's very minimal styling product like there's not really any on the actual hair on the head there's just some on some of the curls mostly up top to keep i guess the position of the curls correct and then also you have a lot right here i i really appreciate that it's right here so she does have at least somewhat of a part line here you can see that the hair is thatched through there for this piece, but that's good because if you wanted to do another hairstyle, you at least have a center part line to work with, and that rocks. And I really love that they kept this curl like longer. I think it's really pretty. I think that looks really cool. At first in the packaging though, I thought that this curl had been like, like it had fallen, and then I noticed that they had tied it in place and I was like, what's going on? It's because it's, it's a totally separate thing. Anyway, look at these. And by the way, anywhere that there's styling product other than right here, it's not crunchy at all. Like, this is a lot of styling products right here, but it's not crunchy. If you're not super familiar with Rainbow High, you might think I'm being, like, weird. Like, why would I even bring that up? But trust me, it's really bad on some of them. And she has a lot of hair on her head, as you can see, all the way through, even though she has a high ponytail. And you can tell because of how much hair is in these curls. I mean, this is just a beautiful doll. Beautifully styled just awesome. I love nylon in ringlets like this. It's so fun and gorgeous. And I love that her hair has these white streaks through it too. It's just beyond beautiful. I know it's hard to tell those are white streaks. They're not, it's not all shine. Like you can see the streaks continue. It's just really, really beautiful. Her hair is just so wonderful. It's like the joys of nylon. It's why I love nylon so much. Beautiful, beautiful doll hair. Fantastic. That's like, I'm, I'm just so excited about her hair. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's move on from the hair and face because I stayed a long time on that and take a look at this outfit. Now, her outfit is really interesting. She has this technology theme going on, but like real, like not just like technology aesthetic, it's full on technology, it is awesome. So I wanna see how the heck they did this motherboard crop top. So I love this, I just noticed this. These are wire, wires, <laughs> little plastic. That is so cool to be the straps. They're supposed to look like little wires and they really feel like wires too. That is awesome. And this motherboard top, wow. How did they do this? Did they just glue things onto the fabric? I think that's what happened. So I don't, I don't even know where to begin to talk about this. It's like a shiny fabric, like it is fabric. It's not solid, let me show you. The inside will help. See? It's just one of those coated fabrics. So this is that coated fabric that could possibly peel over time, although I don't think it's going to have a chance. It's got too many things going on. Um, but that's something to keep in mind because it is a regular fabric that's coated in some kind of paint to make it shiny like this. Um, but there's all these wire... Look at that. It's like under... I'm just so fascinated. Sorry. Look at all the wires and gears and little things. And I don't know a lot about computer hardware or whatever this is supposed to be, so... Yeah, but it is a motherboard, and it looks really amazing and really realistic, and I'm stunned. And look, even on the back. Even on the back. And I do wonder if these are all the same, or if there's going to be variations in them, because maybe this is just one big piece of fabric that has all these already on it, or maybe it's already, like, set to be a certain way. I don't know. We'll have to look at these dolls up close, but this is so cool. If it is random, I got a really good arrangement. I really like it. Like, this big... These are, like, a controller box, I think. Right here in the front is good. This is just so cool. This is so, so cool. And then she has a bunch of wires hanging down here. So this is actually just like like a regular doll belt, just very like loose. It's not the same as this material, but it looks so good. And this is like a, like a headphone jack sort of thing, like the aux cable. And yeah, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. And you can see the closure there. And wow, I just love that that actually... This top is one of the greatest pieces of doll clothing ever. I knew it was going to be cool, but I didn't realize they were going to execute it this amazing. Like, whoa. I thought it was going to be some kind of big plastic piece that they had painted, but see? God, that rocks. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is like Hall of Fame. Best doll clothing piece. And then uh, in traditional rainbow or shadow high style, she's got a random black crop top underneath. Uh, I, 
I'm just gonna start assuming when we get one of these random black crop tops that it was actually supposed to be a, like a netted top of some sort and they changed their minds. Um, it's cute. I think it looks good with the outfit and everything, but how many times have we gotten the exact same black crop top at this point? But again, it's a, it's a great quality piece. It's just kind of boring. But I don't really have, I don't think that's going to be an overall criticism for the doll because this is the coolest piece ever and it's not boring at all. So, yeah. But, and also these are great for restyles. Anyway, then she has long nails and they are painted a very similar color to her hair, but more green. She definitely, I don't know how she's coming off on camera to you guys, but she, she has some green aspects. Like this is green, but she comes off a little bluer, like a uh, mint blue sort of thing. I don't really know how to describe this color. It's very, very pretty. That's why I'm kind of avoiding it. I think I've only said toothpaste so far, um, but it's not as blue as toothpaste. I don't know. Anyway. Oh my God. What does this say? Oh, wow. It says SH3. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my God. I was trying to figure out what the three was. Are you kidding? That's so cute. And these are keycaps, like on a keyboard. Oh my god. And they're supposed to look like little knotted wire. Are you kidding? I'm sorry. That is the cutest detail. That is so cute. Wow. Oh, also, if you're not super familiar with Rainbow High or Shadow High, the insides of the nails are painted too. I, I don't even point out the painted nails anymore because it's so, like, expected with Rainbow High. Like, yeah, they're gonna have painted nails. But... I'm really doing them a disservice because that's such a cool detail that like no doll lines do except OMG and Rainbow High really. That like they're the only ones that do it consistently. So it is something notable that should be pointed out. But I just forget. I just, sometimes. Anyway, so I had noticed this in her stock photos. I don't really like to look too closely at the stock photos because I'm doing a review, so I want to be like show you my authentic first reaction when I unbox it all for the first time. So I definitely had noticed this. I hadn't really noticed this piece, which is why I'm so impressed by it. Um, I'm super impressed by this piece too, and I've been curious about it. So these are CDs, and these are little CD holder things. So if you've ever had one of those like big CD books, this is exactly how they're held in with these little... It's even the same material. It's like vinyl. I don't really know what it is, but that is so cool. Sorry, it feels just like it. It's like really interesting. And do these CDs come out is my question. Oh, they don't? <gasps> no, I really thought they would. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just for some reason thought like, oh my god, what if those are individual CDs? But that would have been a criticism for the doll, I think, because like children would lose those in a heartbeat and then it would just be a weird skirt with these strange pockets. But um, these are actually applied to the fabric very similar to how all these little bits are. But they look like real little CDs I could pull out like I really thought I could. Um, but look, they're holographic. That rocks. So now it's time to take a look at her shoes. And to be honest with you, I was so focused on everything else. I haven't even looked down and seen her shoes. And these are also super cool. Like, what are we even looking at here? So we, in, in a good way, we've got a, like a traditional sandal here. Like, I can see that. And then it goes into these like big sneaker soles, I guess. Like, these are those big bouncy sneaker shoes that you would use for, like, sports, right? That make you bouncy. I think that's what I'm looking at. Does that say Eclipse right there? Yeah, so it says Eclipse here. These are probably based on a specific shoe, but I am clueless, sorry. And SH here. We've got Shadow High on the back. So let's see the bottom. <gasps> what are they? I think I see an L and an R for left and right, which is very cute. But then what is this? Oh, it's a moon with stars. Cool. And this feels really interesting. Like, listen. Can you hear that? <laughs> anyway. These rock. They've got that gorgeous green color again. I really like this green color. Olivia was close, but I want a Rainbow High doll that's truly that, like, super dark green. And I'm refreshed to see it a lot on this doll's design. Also, her stand is much greener than she comes off. I mean, she has a lot of green elements, but to me, she's, she's like, in the blue family. She's one of those weird ones that's in between the colors, which is okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at her extra accessories. Let me get them out of here. So she comes with, I guess, an iPad, a phone, a computer, and sunglasses. And this is our first Shadow High Series 3 doll. So this is what they do. They don't come with a second outfit. They come with the doll, the first outfit, stand, comb. I, I kind of showed you, but not really. There's the comb. And then these accessories. So uh, it feels about comparable to Shadow High Series 2, but I will say Shadow High Series 2 had that beautiful artwork on the packaging and... This, these still have beautiful artwork, but they don't have that gorgeous, like, line work all over, like this Shadow High Series 2 dolls did. And I'm kind of bummed about that. I wish we could have seen that again. Okay, for real, I'm going to be right I've got our accessories out. So they're in that blister packaging, and this happened. This is not 
um, the finishing coming off, by the way. This is cardboard. Like, see, I can scratch it off. Um, but the, the like, printing from the the backing of the blister packaging got stuck to this. So that's something to note. But I at first I was like, oh, is it destroyed? But it's not. It's just paper that needs to be washed off. Anyway, we have sunglasses. They're these very, like, cool matrixy visor sunglasses or something. Uh, they say shadow on them. Reminds me of, like, a car windshield. I don't know. I, re I like the little nose rests. Just a really cool detail, and they actually painted it, too. Well, it's chrome, actually. It looks like it's some kind of... Like, how do they do that? Maybe it's just sprayed chrome paint. I don't know. Uh, this is what they look like on... Okay, I actually like these. So I'm not a sunglasses person with dolls. Like, I would prefer not, because I like eyes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I like doll faces, and they cover up the face. And I think, like, the eyes are the prettiest part of most dolls' faces. But I can actually see the eyes through here, and it looks cool. So, yeah. Those are cool sunglasses. I approve. Sorry, I should have put this back on. Huh? She looks kind of... But I noticed that I think there's some staining, so I'm going to check that out in a second before we do our final thoughts. Anyway, she's also got this iPad. And let's see it. Does she run some kind of blog? Because it says The Daily Shadow. And her at is Coder Girl. She's got the, um, I think, the Blink-182 logo there. I, I don't know what they're going for with that. Um... I mean, to be fair, it is just, like, a squiggly, smiley face. Um, and then she's got 436 people she's following, but she has 100,000-something followers. Can I? Can y'all get me past this? I want to have more followers than Barry Skies does. Anyway, and then you can see that she has retweeted something from somebody whose ad is Tanzania. Ooh, I, I wonder if that's one of them. Um, and we see these other two characters. I don't know their names yet. I'm pretty sure this is Pinky and Lavender. Like, I think their names are pretty obvious. And this has a lot of retweets and likes. This artwork is beautiful, by the way. Anyway, so that's her Twitter, or her X. I, I kind of refuse to call it that. And then you can see more of that paper got stuck. Um, and yeah, that's her tablet. And there's a little finger hold because they can actually hold... I guess it goes in the sand. They can actually hold their accessories. It attaches like a ring. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I think that's so, so fun. And I prefer it so much to, like, not having that. Even though it's more real to not have it. You could just cut that off easily if you needed to. Like, if that was important to you. Anyway. Then we have her phone. So, she's just kind of on the Rainbow High website, I guess. This is very boring. Uh, just advertising the runway collection, I guess. And then on the back, we've got the little... These are, like, motherboardy things. I don't know. It's inside of the... It's circuit board. Fun. Me calling it a motherboard, somebody's probably like... Oh. Actually, it's a circuit board. It's, motherboard's different, you know, but it's a circuit board. Anyway, <laughs> then she's also got a laptop. And this one's pretty cut up. Like, all of them have some imperfections, but this one has, like, a big glaring scratch there. I promise I didn't do that. I wouldn't point it out if I did it. Um, and then there's that. But again, it scratches off. Like, I swear that's not the finishing coming off. See? Ta-da. Okay. Laptop actually has hinges you can open. Oh my god, I didn't notice she has one of those RGB keyboards. Oh, that's cute. So it's pink, blue, purple. So it's one of those ones that goes through different LED colors. And then looks like she's actually coding here. She on an Apple computer? <laughs> the, the app is called Circuit and the logo is the Shadow High S. Oh man, what is she coding? Laura Mipsum Dipsum got it. <laughs> of course. Um, that is what we all do. Div a line left. Is this just HTML? Huh. This over here at least is HTML. And then over there, I don't know what all that is. I can't even read that. But this is very... Oh, it literally says HTML right there. How funny. Okay. Why are you doing it in Apple, girly? I mean, maybe maybe programmers do that. I just... I don't understand how Apple computers work. They freak me out. Anyway. All right. Now I'm going to double check that standing on her body. And I'll show it to you if it's a problem. And then we'll get into my final thoughts. All right, so I put on the circuit board, motherboard top um, without the black top underneath, just to show you. Um, yeah, the black top was definitely needed. It's so interesting because I was thinking, like, why is this even here? But look, it was sorely needed. It really makes the whole outfit come together. Um, but yeah, so this is what she looks like. I cannot believe how amazing this doll is. I'm glad that I just did my top 10 list, honestly, because this doll would have um, instantly been on it and um, it would have dethroned another doll so next top 10 list she'll probably be there but like oh my god this is probably one of the best like outfits in general from rainbow high or shadow high sorry rainbow high shadow high is like a rainbow high brand like whatever they're the same dolls <laughs> um 
God, she's cool. Her hair is amazing. Her makeup is amazing. I'm going to take off the sunglasses. We need to see her face again. She honestly looks really good with the sunglasses on, and I won't normally say that. Like, I won't normally leave them on, so. Um, but actually, we could maybe put them up here as, like, a headband. God, she's so cool. She's so cool. Every detail was well thought out, except, I guess, this, but this was very needed. It makes the crop top work. I'm so impressed. Just the design in general is so cool. Oh, Lego's here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> um, the design in general is so impressive. This is just, this is reminding me of why Rainbow High is my favorite brand on the market. Like, really bringing that into the forefront for me. Just, I'm always so impressed. Every little detail. It's so much fun to, like, really, to notice something like it's saying Shadow High 3 in keycaps on the bracelet. If that was just a bracelet with, like, a, B, C, D, F or something, like, I would have been impressed by it, but, <laughs> god, that's so cool. I should have said A, A, S, D, F, right? That's what the order is, whatever. It's just so cool. The doll rocks. The doll rocks. Um, I recommend taking a look at these dolls if you are interested. I think that this doll definitely is something special. I wonder if the rest of Shadow High Series 3 will make me feel this way, or if I just so happen to open the best one, but I was literally just telling Brett, like, because he's sitting over there, um, that this is, like, this is why I like Rainbow High so much. Like, this is, this is beyond amazing. Lego wants to be a star, too. Come here. Come here. <laughs> um, this is why I think Rainbow High is the best doll brand on the market right now. I don't think they're perfect. They have a lot of problems. Um, but, like, as the base dolls, I just think they're so amazing. And they're definitely my favorites. And I've just been so, I, I just have so much fun with them. They make me so happy. And, yeah, this doll really exemplifies that. This wasn't one where I have any mixed feelings at all in any location. Like, this is just an immaculately designed doll. Uh, maybe you guys don't like her. I've heard this one is very divisive. Not sure why. I think she's just glorious. I think she's glorious. I think this face sculpt in particular, I believe, if it's the face sculpt I think it is, there's only like three or four dolls with it, including this one. And every single doll with it is like an amazing doll. Like, all of them. It's so pretty. She's so pretty. I really like this one, so yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go, because I could just sit here and say this is the best doll forever. This one is definitely gunning for, like, top five on my favorite Rainbow High dolls, but I have to sit with her for a while and really make sure I feel that way, but right now, wow. <laughs> wow. Anyways, that's it for this video. I, again, I got this doll. I bought her from the LOL Surprise website. They had, like, an early release thing last week. It's still going. I think they're all still in stock, and I'm very impressed. Well, we're going to go a little bit longer because I just checked the price real quick because I was like, it was $29.99, right? No, she was $24. $24.99. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I can't believe her. Like, I don't know. I always thought like, oh, with every other doll brand ever before I started collecting LOL and then Rainbow High afterward, I was like, oh, it's the budget. Like, they just can't do this for the price point. Like, it's totally fine with like basic things, like not printing on details or having patterns continue on to the back but then I see something like this where it's like on on some dolls like Disney princess dolls and stuff they won't print like basic things from the pattern that's on the front of the dress on the back of the dress and I was always like it's a budget thing like it's not a big deal but then I see something like this where this isn't printing this is like physical objects that are embedded in this fabric or like glued on I don't even know how they do this because it doesn't even look like it's glued on like they look seamlessly integrated into the fabric it's magic I don't know um and now I feel stupid for always saying that. Like, I don't know. Just MGA blows me out away every time. Every single time. And I love it. I love this doll. I am very, very happy with her. And okay, for real this time, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!